Hindi po talaga maalis yung kaba po pag nandito po, no? I would rather sing than um, give a devotion. <laughs> nah. But um, um, we know that when God commands, He will enable and uh, pr praise the Lord for this opportunity. Um, let's all stand up and um, we will read um, Joshua chapter 9, verses 1 to 15. <coughs> we will read this responsively. I will read the first verse and you will follow and then all together on the last verse. And it came to pass when all the kings which were on this side, Jordan, in the hills and in the valleys and in all the coasts of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorite and the Canaanite and the Perizzite, the Hevite and the Jebusite heard thereof. And when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai, and old shoes and clouted upon their feet and old garments upon them and all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy. And the men of Israel said unto the Hevites, Peradventure ye dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? Verse 9, and, and they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord thy God, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. Wherefore, our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants. Therefore, now make ye a league with us. And these bottles of wine which we, which we filled were new, and behold, they be rent. And these are garments, and our shoes are become old by reason of the very long journey. And altogether, verse 15, And Joshua made peace with them, and made a league with them, to them and the princes of the congregation swear unto them. Shall we all pray? Lord God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the services that um, was uh, that transpired today. Lord, for the wisdom that you've given to each and every one. Lord, um, we ask again for your wisdom. Um, this this time that we can, Lord, study. Um, give us some um, understanding and um, the peace that comes from you. And um, may we, Lord, um, learn the lessons that we need to learn from this passage. And thank you for your book. Thank you for this scripture, Lord. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May all be seated at this. So Joshua, um, I've been uh, studying the, the life of Joshua and uh, we, can, we, can, we can learn a lot from, from his life. And uh, most of us actually just uh, maybe remember Joshua from when uh, Moses sent 12 spies. But uh, there, there, are, there are more than... Um, there much there there's much more than that in 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 the life of Joshua and we know that Joshua was a follower of Moses he will, he came after Moses when Moses died and he was a great warrior he was actually the leader of the 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 warrior of Israel during this time and he he led um, Israel to many victories and uh, uh, and on the on that other side of victories there's also life lessons and um he led Israel to to Canaan. They were able to uh, enter the land of Canaan through 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 the leadership of Joshua, and 
they were also victorious against the very first city that they have um, they have seen in, in Canaan, which was Jericho, a very great city of Jericho. We all know that uh, Jericho is famous for its walls, and how how they have conquered Jericho was because was not because of their strength, but because of God's um, f um, but because of God's power and God's instruction to them, and um, and then after the city of Jericho. They have uh, after the victory at Jericho. Now comes the the small city of Ai, a city w that is very insignificant in in Canaan, and we all know what happened. I, I shared this uh, the last time they actually fell at um, Ai because not because Ai was a great city, not because Ai had a very um, large number of warriors, but simply because of sin, of their disobedience from God, and we know um, that um, God was um, God instructed them to to destroy everything that 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 there is at the land of Jericho. But then the, a man named Achan actually stole something because um, God commanded them to destroy everything aside from the um, silver and the brass um, victuals that uh, will be offered to to the treasury of God. And as a result, they actually failed, and they failed miserably at AI. And it was not a simple defeat, but it was actually a very humiliating defeat. And uh, we know how sin can work in our lives. I, I sin can, can cost us lives. Sin can cost the lives of our family, our friends, our, li our loved ones, and our surroundings. And... Um, not only that it cost them their lives, but it cost them the unity of the Israel. They, they, they didn't know what to do. They had to go back to, to, to God and ask God for, for instructions. And, but then um, their journey um, didn't end when AI defeated them. And we praise the Lord for that because... They have um, God told them that there was sin in the camp, and and that they they needed to find that sin. And yun nga yung nakita na yung pina pinakita na panginoon that there was Achan, and they had to repent. They had to they had to go back to God to to defeat AI, and and after that they were able to conquer AI. Because and this was actually one of the greatest um, na basa ko sa history. One of the greatest um, stra uh, war strategy that um, uh, ever was plotted in the history. Na they had they um, they ambushed AI. They they lured every because AI was very because AI defeated them the first time. AI actually was very um, encouraged and they thought yun, yun na naman yung Israel um, like kaya kaya namin yung Israel so what they did was they actually uh, lured all the warriors of AI's uh, front and then um, Joshua commanded everyone to attack on every side and that's how they conquered the city of AI and um, yes and then comes this chapter uh, verse uh, chapter 9 and um so Joshua chapter 9, verses 1 and 2. And it came to pass when all the kings which were on this side Jordan, in the hills and in the valleys, and in all the coasts of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorite, the Canaanite, and the Perizzite, the Hevite, and the Jebusite heard thereof. Verse 2, they have gathered themselves together to fight with Joshua and with Israel with one accord. And we all know that um, during these victories, yung mga neighboring countries, neighboring cities uh, in the promised land actually heard and they were actually scared. And the kings of different nations, although um, very different from each other, although having their own cities, they actually united for, for one purpose, for, for, uh, for their selfish agendas. And um, just come to think of it, parang um, it's actually... Para nangyari to, uh, nangyari to 
just earlier like parang if we can relate it to to our time na para bang um yung mga churches uniting for for their own selfish agendas kaya tayo nagkaroon ng ano Baptist Day yan lang yan uh, <laughs> again yun nga so <laughs> um the cities uh, actually planned something against Israel but then there was this uh, one city called Gibeon Actually, it, this was the, the nearest city where Israel is actually currently residing. And Gibeon had a different um, plan and different mind. Uh, and they didn't want to, to go against Israel because they are the nearest city and they are very scared of Israel. And, and Gibeon had a different um, agenda. And so Gibeon... Um, we can see that in um, chapter 10, Gibeon is a very great city and a royal city, actually, in Canaan. And they were, um, they were not small, and they were very powerful, actually. And in verse 4, they did work willingly and went and made as if they had been ambassadors and took old sacks upon their asses and wine bottles, old and rent and bound up. So they... They they thought of maybe because we cannot we cannot defeat um, Israel and because we we saw how Israel um, defeated Jericho a a walled city in Canaan and they they, they they planned something different and what they did was they actually wanted to join and to fool Israel and we know that um, eventually sin will come to light and this will will be a very foolish decision. From them, and then, so that the people faked everything. They have planned it well, and um, they have they have um, they have brought bread, moldy breads, yung lalagyan ng wine sila, lumang luma na, and their shoes, their clothes, and everything. They planned it well, and but then um, Israel, being being defeated just recently, actually again turn their backs from god they 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 the the reason they got defeated in ai was simply because they actually depended on, on their own strength they depended on their own understanding and that is the reason why they fell in ai and this time around hoping that uh, they have remembered those those things hoping that uh, they would um, learn from this those those um, experiences that they had in AI comes a a similar situation uh, they're being fooled and what we can see here on on verses 14 and 15 what they did was verse 14 and the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the lord and verse 15 and joshua made peace with them and a league with them to let them live and the princes of the congregation swear unto them so again same thing happened israel actually uh and Josh, joshua and israel actually depended depended their depended on their own understanding and very clear dun sa verse 14 that they did not um, consider the counsel from God and again it was a disappointment uh, after after experiencing those that less the lesson uh, they had in AI comes the same thing happening again and again and um, this is this is this is something that we all are um, that we all are guilty of um, they did not pray and we all, we all know that our default setting is to always pray to God. And our, our prayer life is very important. Prayer simply means that we are depending on God. And it's, it's, it's the opposite. It's the contrary to this, um, in, this, in this passage. And, um, and in verse 16 and 17, if we can continue. And it came to pass... At the end of three days, after they had made a league with them, that they heard that they, that they were their neighbors, and that they dwelt among them. And the children of Israel journeyed and came unto their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, che Chepira, and Birot, and Kirjat-Jerim. So, 
we all know that eventually sin will come to light and this is this is the time just after three days they have they have actually um they've actually discovered that these Gibeonites were actually not from a very very far country now everything was all set up everything was all planned now they they wanted to simply fool um israel and um having known this um they have already made a bad decision Accept, accepting them without the counsel from God, without asking God, now comes a very um, important decision. Na, ano ba yung gagawin natin sa kanila ngayon? Are we gonna kill them? Are we gonna simply um, uh, let them free? Or or anything? And um, this this comes very handy this time. And then um, and because they give you nights ah and verse um, 22, Sorry. And Joshua called them and spake unto them, saying, Wherefore have ye beguiled us, saying, We are we are very far from you when ye dwell among us. So in nga na nalaman na ni Joshua na, na they were being fooled, na they were fooled. And verse 23, 23 Now therefore ye are cursed, and there shall and there shall none of you be freed from being bondmen and hewers of wood and drawers of water. For the house of my God. So, in um, as a result, Joshua didn't. Um, kasi nagalit na yung mga mga tao dun sa sa after knowing na na they were fooled. Na bakit natin inaccept yan? They should be cast away. They should be cast out. Sorry, they should be cast out. And um, yun nga. And and then Joshua um, decided na they would they will just be. Uh, they will be cursed and none of you will be freed being bondmen and so diligyan na lang Joshua na um ano ba yun sa inutasan inutasan na na maging drawers of water in the inatasan na maging drawers of food and drawers of water in the house of in the house of God and here um in verse um, 26 and 27, they have witnessed how Israel is still being being blessed. So, apart ng Gibeonites, they, they witness um, Israel being blessed despite of them being stubborn. Because, of course, they, they the Gibeonites knew how AI actually defeated them the first time. So, and the Gibeonites, at uh, the back of their mind, actually um, recognizes how powerful their God is and how 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 blessed these people of Israel is. And then verse 26 and 27. And so did he unto them and delivered them out of the hands of the children of Israel that they slew them not. And Joshua made them that day. Yeah, made them that day hewers of wood and drawers of water for the congregation and for the altar of the Lord. Even unto this day in the place which he should come. And if we continue reading verse 10. Yung five cities na nag um, nag nagplano to attack Israel, they were actually defeated um, using this people of Gibeonites. And um, the challenge simply um, comes sa ating prayer life. And um, we know how how prayer is very powerful. It's very um, basic and it's very elementary for for Christians to to um, uh, about prayer and um, our default setting is to simply just rely on on the power of God in our lives and with that um, yung power ng Panginoon um, we can see that and we all know that uh, I, we all memorize this verse Proverbs Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding and then comes the comes um, yung verse na pray without ceasing and then with trusting God comes prayer and with prayer comes trusting God and then let's not neglect our prayer life and sometimes we 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 forget to pray we and and our prayer is actually a uh, this is actually a spiritual battle it's our default um, setting to look to God and to keep His command commandments and to trust in Him. And shall we all pray? God, thank you for this time, um, for, for giving us your word, for giving us... Um